Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Joyce Sapong. I'm a Ghanaian and I'm a nurse by profession, currently practicing in the United Kingdom. I have a professional license to practice in Ghana, UK and in the United States of America. So today we're going to talk about something a little bit different from what I normally talk about. We're going to talk about NCLEX, which is the National Council Licensure Examination. And that is the what you have to do or that's the type of the licensure you have to get if you're planning to work in America. You don't necessarily have to be there before you can get it. I'm in England and I still have to, I've gotten it. So come with me and let's do it. have categorized or I have grouped these processes into four easy steps and I, I am confident in telling you about this because I have been through it and that time I didn't have anybody or any video to watch to help me so I have been through all the problems and all the issues you might encounter throughout this process with these steps my first one will be choosing a state people belittle the step because choosing a state is so important that it will determine how fast your process will be it will determine how easy the process will be for you we all know america has 50 states and every state has um their regulatory body and how they do their things some are a bit complex some are a bit easy so why go with a complex one just go with an easy one it's a license it's a license once you get it and it's one country so go with an easy one and get your license with that choosing states i've grouped it into two where i have cgfns and board of nursing let's talk about the cgfns so both work hand in hand you have to to choose the best state you have to look into cgfns states and their regulations that they have for each state and you have to look into most of the states they are bored of nursing and decide on which one is best for you so at the end of this video um i will tell you what state i went with and why i went with that the cgfns it is basically um a body which sort of evaluates all your documents it being um it being your professional documents your educational documents to say yes um, these are valid and whatever body or whatever institution that is asking for them can depend on you and go ahead and give you a license so that is basically before you go into creating an account and getting into what you want them to do for you you have to know what cgfns requirements for every state is so you just go onto your site and you look into what every state requires most of the states require the basic stuff so it would be easy for you before a cgfns report can be given some states require you to get um ielts or tofl before you could a report can be issued so what you want to do is to avoid these states because you might not have an IELTS result or a TOEFL results ready and you don't necessarily need it when it comes to getting this licenses. So what you want to do is possibly avoid these if you can. Um, I think there are about 18 states that require an English test as part of their verification before you can be issued a report. And I'll put I'll put all these states here so you can have a look or if if you want you could go to the CGFNS page and look out for the states yourself. These states that require you to provide IELTS or TOEFL results, you would pay an additional ninety dollars to what you have to pay for the reports. So to avoid all these things, just go ahead and choose a state that is not. Um, listed in these 18 states to make your life easier that is what all this um, channel is all about states that require you to provide your CES report you can either provide IELTS or TOEFL it doesn't matter however it's only Ohio that requires you to provide TOEFL they do not do IELTS thing 
No. So if you want to um, go with Ohio due to one or two reasons, because you probably have family there or you probably have read over about o Ohio and you like to live there, then know that at the end of everything, you would have to sit for a TOEFL to prove that you can um, speak good English. Let's go into how you go about this um, CGFNS thing. So you go to Google search, you type in CGFNS login and you're looking for a green and white logo, which is the second one, and you go onto it. So you, if you are a first time that you create an account and you are a returning um, applicant, you go straight to login. So because I've created a, an account before and everything, I would go straight into my account and I will show you how it's done with my account. So you go into login wait for it to load so i'll zoom in so when you are ap applying for it they will ask you um are you an applicant or are you an agent if you're doing it to yourself make sure you go for a applicant so you put your personal email and then they will direct everything to you so because i have my i did it myself and everything it is my personal email i'm going to put in and i'm going to log in all right so anytime you're logging in they'll ask you a security question so they're going to ask you what um and it should be one of the questions or one of the information you put out in your profile so here is the question they're asking me so this is uk which i'm currently working with now Right, so this is how the pro, um, the profile or the dashboard looks like. So you go straight to my profile. And these are what you're going to fill out. So you're going to make sure you get complete in every single steps. Every single step, sorry. So they are about 11 um, steps that you have to fill so you must make sure that you fill this out and get everything complete before you can go to the next bit so once you're done you go to your shopping cart so this is what cgfns has to offer at this point what you are looking for is ces because that's what um you're gonna do for now and then you purchase that. All right. Once you are allowed to purchase the CES, you pay three hundred and ninety dollars. So that will be um, how much they will charge you for um, looking into all your documents for you. It's quite expensive, so you might have to make sure that you've got all the legit um, documents to put out there um, for them to do it for you. So that is it, basically what the CGFN is, and. Um, it is pretty easy, isn't it? Uh, not as easy as you think because um, uploading these information and documents and everything can be a little bit hectic. But once you know what you're doing and where you're going, you are um, you are good to go. It doesn't matter how long it will take, you will still get there. Let's look into the world of nursing. So as we all know, um, America has 50 states and each state has their board of nursing. But one good thing that I think they they brought in is something they call the compact nursing lists. So what the compact nursing list is basically a, a group of states, about thirty seven or so, have come together to say that see if somebody has a license with any of these states, you can comfortably work in in one of these thirty seven states which is pretty good thing so when you're looking for a state you might want to look into a state that ha that falls or that is part of the compactness list i'll put the link below um and then you just click on it and go have a look yourself which states will fall within that so when you are deciding on which state to go with you look into the cgfns part and you look into the board of nursing part 
to make the best decision. Some states require you to have a social security number before you could actually go ahead with the process. And if you're not in America, trust me, you're not going to have this social security number anywhere. So you try as much as possible and avoid these states as well. Before you finally decide on what to do, which state to go with, you have to look into CGFNS, you have to look into the Board of Nursing and decide which state you are going to go with. At the end of this video, I will tell you which states I went with and why I went with that state. When you decide on which states you are going to go with, for instance, um, California, Mer Maryland, Texas, you just go on Google and, and type in California Board of Nursing, Maryland Board of Nursing. That's it. And then it tells you um, how to register for it. So you register and go on to um, the system and you upload all your documents that you've got to upload and you, I think you, you pay a fee. Every fee, every state is different. Every state has their own price they charge. So I can't really say or I can't really um, tell you or give you a specific price. So once you register with the Board of Nursing, um, with the stage that you want to work with, you upload your documents on their site. They always have a pretty much easy dashboard to work with. And as and when you go through the process and as and when you submit what they ask for, they just check you or take you on the system or on their site. So which, which basically tells you about your progress. And it's sort of a beautiful thing to know that, oh, I'm getting there. I'm almost there to sit for this end claim. Some states also require you to write a jurisprudence exam, which is basically um, tell, tells them that you understand the rules and regulations of the state. You are going to um, make sure you provide the best of care. It is pretty easy. Some states do not ask you to do that. However, with the states I went with, I did, and it was very easy. I think it's one hour, and it's an open book exam. You decide to go with um, a state that does not require you to provide IELTS before you get the re um, the report, the CGFNS report. That does not require you to provide the social security number. That falls within the um, compact nursing. That is a perfect state. Also, with a board of nursing, you have to provide um, your fingerprints and it's, it's pretty easy how to go about that one too. I had a friend who assisted me when I, I'm, I was doing mine. He, it was during COVID, so we, did, we weren't able to go to the police station to get it done. He drove all the way like for three or two hours to my house to help me do it. Thank you so much, Bill. I do really appreciate it. Um, yeah, so if you are not getting access to to do it yourself, or if you're not getting finding any police station to do it, you can do it yourself. I did it myself and I submitted it and it was approved. So it is possible to do it yourself. Um, if you want me to go into details how to do your or how to send your fingerprints to your board of nursing, just let me know in the comment section below and I will do a detailed video of how to go about that one. You've gone through all the processes, all the submitting of your documents, fingerprints, everything, jurisprudence has done, everything you have to do with the board of nursing and they've checked you at all these points. What will be left is the end clicks. And the second point is your gateway. So the second step we'll talk about will be the piercing view some countries do not allow you to do it so most countries in Africa I think they all go to South Africa or China to sit for it and I think England is also one of the test centers some people can look into because so you just go to Google search for piercing view create an account and then you register so once you are done with the registration, I think you'll pay a fee as well at that point. And once you done paying that fee, that is it. So you can do that bit there. You have your account and it is there forever. It, you can use it at any point in time you want. So once you are all done and you think you've studied alongside, and mind you, once 
you start with this registration please be studying be studying because me for instance i used a period of six months to register to actively study and sit and pass for the end clicks so you can be doing this alongside because every single um parts or points that you have to be it takes days so with a cgfns for instance it will take about 60 working days for them to reply to you but sometimes it takes less mine took like um, two weeks to get my report with the um, board of nursing depending on which board of nursing you are going with it could also take time i think they also have about 60 working days as well but mine took i think 15 working days so it all depends on um, how fast you provide your information and documents and it makes everything pretty easy once you are done with this registration and you have the account you can then request for your att so with the att which is an authorization to test um it is basically when you are requesting to sit for this exam psmv will send a request to your board of nursing that you are working with to say hey this person has um, asked us to allow him or her to sit for the NCLEX. Is this person from your place? Is this person, um, do you know this person? Do you have their documents? Do you want us to approve them? So that's what the it is all about. And then your board of nursing will say, oh yeah. So they'll give you an approval. They'll send a person you an approval and they'll send you as well. It takes, it says on their system that it will take six weeks but it took two days to get my ATT. That is, if all your documents and everything is on point, it took two days to get my ATT. And this ATT is valid for six months. Six months for one sitting. So make sure that once you have this ATT, you are ready to, you are studying actively. Make sure you are studying actively. Once you are all done and set and ready, you schedule for your exam. So with the scheduling, I think it's, you also pay a fee. You book for the test in your nearest test center in your country or outside your country, make every preparation and everything that you have to do. And then you go and sit for the exam. So mind you, with the ATT, that is six months, it's for one test. So if you unfortunately do not pass this um, test or this line signature and you would if you do not pass it and you have to um, re retake the test, you would need another ATT. Oh, exam day, exam day comes and you go sit for the exam and that is it. So ideally it takes about 48 hours to get your results. That is all these four steps that I've told you about where you can um, register and sit for the end clicks and be, have the license to work and practice in America. If you want to ask any question about anything, just put it in the comment section and I'll come back and reply. Um, I hope you, you find this video useful and helpful. Share to your friends, subscribe to this channel to support this journey and do it.